We're revising macro diagrams ahead of the paper. Here's a quick look at import tariffs. Yeah, tariffs are a very common diagram to draw. The key thing to remember, I guess, is that it's an industry-specific diagram. So please don't use ADAS diagrams for a tariff analysis. Let's look at the market for steel here. The, the uh, domestic price is P1. If there's free trade, then steel will be traded at the world price PW. And the quantity of imported steel will be Q2, Q3. Now with the tariff, uh, the quantity of imports contracts because the tariff increases the world supply price to PW plus tariff. At the higher price, uh, there's a, a contraction of domestic demand from Q3 to Q4. An expansion of domestic supply from Q to Q to Q2 to Q5 meaning that the quantity of imports shrinks to Q5, Q4. So a tariff is designed to cause expenditure switching and a fall in the quantity of imports because they become more expensive. It's important, obviously, to develop the analysis and think about the revenue from tariffs. Tariff revenue, of course, is paid by the importer, not the exporter. But the tariff revenue is the tariff per unit, multiplied by the quantities that's shown by the shaded area there, although we will label in a second. Consumer surplus is also affected. Tariffs increase prices for domestic consumers, and uh, this leads to a fall in demand and leads to a lower level of consumer surplus or economic welfare. So the new level of consumer surplus is shown in green there. Again, we would label this in the exam. Import tariffs tend to be good news for domestic producers. Their producer surplus goes up and also the government. They get tax revenue, but bad news in this case for domestic consumers of steel. Now, there's a deadweight loss, overall loss of welfare because the gains to government and domestic producers are outweighed by the loss of consumer surplus. So the blue areas there show the deadweight loss of welfare arising from the tariff. In the exam, please remember to label key areas, draw your diagram, then label the key intercepts so that, uh, for example, you can show that the deadweight welfare loss is HCG plus DFE. Labeling diagrams is a really nice, easy way to then build and link, integrate the text that you're writing to the diagram. Good luck if you're using tariff diagrams in your exam.